extra dramatic on my little intro. I know you guys miss me. <laughs> nah, but I totally miss you guys a whole lot more. But is that really saying too much? Anywho, let's get right to it. We're not gonna stay on any off topics because special day, and I've got a very special debut back video. Today I'm gonna be giving you the good, the bad, the ugly of this new blaster from Nerf Rivals. Yep, I said that correctly. We have got an actual new blaster in the Nerf Rival line. What? What is going on? And they came out with a thing. Apparently, they knew that we were like heart starving for some new rival. So they made sure that when they came back, they hit you with this great Uzi style, motorized, freaking crazy gat blaster. I might be over exaggerating. But hey, we never know. That's why I'm gonna do this unboxing today. Stick around guys. It is Kingdom Time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the back of this blaster. We're gonna read what this blaster has to offer. I am known to open a blaster, do a whole review, and forget all of its great features. But I'm gonna take a look at what it says here. We've got four tactical rails. We have got a car up binder clip trigger lock. We have got a rev trigger. Apparently it's gonna be motorized to hold that rev trigger to get that thing uh, buzzing. This thing comes with 18 AccuRounds. AccuRounds means uh, accurate, if you didn't know. And we also are gonna be equipped with a 12 round removable magazine. This thing is looking to be quite hot. I love the design on it, just, I mean, I'm not sure if I have to even say things like that because, I mean, you got eyes and uh, <laughs> it does look as good in person as you would think it does just off of the internet. Enough with the chit chat. It is time to get with this rival. Yes, y'all. Now, as I get this thing unboxed, make sure you guys go ahead right now. Since I'm back, you can also come back and hit that sub button I would love for you guys to be here every single time because I mean you got to give me that warm welcome right <laughs> I just hope that you have fun on this video now let's take it to the kingdom cool guys now we have this nice and unboxed I have the actual blaster right here in my hands pretty cool upon first feel I can tell you that it does not feel too shabby um, as far as the ergonomics go, just holding it in my hand. Even though this is supposed to be more of a pistol style blaster, uh, it does seem a little large on that front. It's not as small as maybe the Strife, not that the Strife is actually very small and compact, but I'll say it will do the trick running around the field. If it were just a little bit like smaller i think that would be a, a better type of like ergonomic design simply because this thing almost feels like a dang on shotgun i don't want my semi-auto blasters being as big as a shotgun i want to be able to dual wield two of them and feel good and comfortable doing it i have two bad arms but i'll get to that later i want to be able to wield these as easy as i possibly can up here there is the tactical rail up top you can add whatever type of accessories hasbro it would be pretty cool if you gave us some extra cool accessories for these rival style blasters and looking here up front it looks like it could be a muzzle brake so it didn't come with no extra piece for that but it would be pretty awesome if you could add an extra muzzle on here you can see the cutouts for that so i'm looking for that to be a thing right here can be used as a sling you attach your sling from here all the way to the back and that is an awesome feature have you feeling like a straight um arnold schwarzenegger type of dude with a uzi here um a gat down here just fully equipped <laughs> i can see here the jam door that is in case there is a problem any jams and one thing you may have noticed as i turn this blaster around yeah bummer right 
I mean, they just deleted the entire blaster on this side of it. Just deleted the whole flipping thing, and that is a ghetto thing to do. On the other hand, I am noticing that there is a pretty large battery tray. According to the box, this will take eight. That is like a double pack of four triple A batteries. So I could maybe see needing such a large space for the batteries. Maybe that makes it make sense to have such a flat back compared to the cool looking front of the blaster after all it is a toy it's not a real gun so they're gonna have to do things like cut those type of corners to make sure that it works and functional as actual toy so that's cool now as far as having a safety switch that is this button right here if it is locked the blaster will not fire it will not rev but if it is on then it's on overall for the whole design i mean even having the flat back i think this thing just looks pretty dang awesome especially compared to the type of stuff we've been getting recently they really it's just been like hit or miss mainly misses and we have had a lot of those hard hitting like pro line blasters that's been coming out but it's good even though this hits hard i think it's really good to just go back to the basics sometimes and just get a regular toy style blaster that's just good and functional just like the old days when Coop was still around. We miss you, Coop. <laughs> so I'm not sure how much else there is to say about this without actually testing it and getting it moving. Come on, guys, follow me. Whew. You guys are fast. How did you beat me here? You must know it's about to go down. Now, what we're we about to do now, um, I'm going to go ahead and measure the distance that these things can actually fire. It is a semi-auto blaster. I read from the box. That means you can't just hold the trigger and blast, but it is like single type of fire. But we're gonna see just how good it actually works. Like, you'll be able to fire off shots as fast as your finger can press the button. Is it a hard trigger? Hey, man, let's just see what we got. I can tell you off the rip, I am just a tad disappointed based off of how that looks. Of course, I'm going to go down there and get an accurate reading on how far them things actually went. You can come. <laughs> here is the 10 yard line here. We're going up to the 20 yard line and you can see some of the rival rounds now keep in mind these balls they actually rolled like they didn't actually land here but they got a good roll to them so wherever you see them there was actually a shorter stopping point it yeah. appears that these shoot just just after 20 yards and guys I'm not looking so great this one's at the 25 and some out there are at the 30. So if you include how the balls rolled, we got up to 30 yards, but I'm gonna just take back like five yards for the roll. And we're gonna say that these wow. things go about 25 yards. And I kind of expected just a little more. So what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna run around this field, pop off some shots as if I'm in an actual nerf battle. We're gonna check to see just how technical this blaster is and functional. So let's go and have some good kingdom fun. <laughs> It was pretty, pretty uh, functional. I didn't have any hard times running around with this blaster. If I was really being shot at, I could definitely see myself moving, being reactive, holding this blaster. As far as the distance, pardon me, I'm out of shape. As far as that distance issue, I mean, they did shoot kind of hard. They may not go far, but the fact that they shoot hard, I like that. For one, the person that you hit, 
they're gonna take you seriously. Aside from that, by hitting hard, that means that these balls come out as fast as you need to so that there's not too much delay between you pulling that trigger and your target getting hit in the side where it hurts. Now, I can say for sure, I did enjoy that. I did have fun with it. As far as Nerf guns go, I mean, what else is it all about? It's the fun factor. So I definitely have to give it a five out of five on the, I definitely have to give it a five out of five on the fun factor. The fact that this is such a beautiful looking blaster reminds me of a pretty cool thing, Uzi. And if you really about that life, you can grab you another one, about $35 and some batteries and do some good dual wielding action. Now, when you get to that point, oh, they really can't mess with you. You ain't worried about the distance or the range because if you was wielding doubles, man, you would be dangerous out there. Even the intimidation factor alone would kill. <laughs> so yeah, five out of five on the fun factor, five out of five just on the form itself and the look. I have to say this is a pretty great re-entry um, into the rival line. It's been like quite a while since we really had some real cool rival blasters. As for me, it's good to be back. I thank you guys for always still being there, still supporting me every time. Look at me, I haven't gone nowhere. Things happen, I had to take a break. You know, life pisses off sometimes and you gotta do what you gotta do. Just look out for you. Anything that goes on in your life, it's okay to take some time to yourself maybe just you know reflect and when you're ready to get back out there <laughs> you're gonna get back out there rival style stay blessed y'all i can't thank you enough um i give this blaster a thumbs up it's not too expensive and it is pretty fun to wield kids can build it pretty dang good <laughs> as far as giveaways are concerned i was at my local gamestop i found a chase version one of one of five thousand aw rival john marshall now if you would like to have that i got two of them because i uh just got my little my, my, my little got my little gamestop deal so if you guys want that one out of five thousand aw rival john moxley go to my comment section and leave and leave the kingdom is still lit <laughs> and that thing was coming to you asap this is Kingdom Corn. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Peace.